Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Someone commented on one of my hair videos saying, and to that I say, I wanted to maybe do just like a little quick Dollar Tree haul. So I did not want this video to be like a total fail. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. So I originally tried to start this yesterday. Also, hopefully you can hear me over the air conditioning. It's just really hot, so I have to keep it on. So I am trying to create some like photo backgrounds for some like brand deals that I have coming up and just like in general, like I really want like a nice like background for like still shots of like products or whatever. So I just thought that it would be nice to share that. So I am someone who just like loves like little DIYs and stuff like that. This should be super easy. I've seen people use like tile samples or like, I don't know if you've seen that like fake brick and they kind of like paint it, just like little things like that. So I'm going to see if I can find anything like that at Home Depot. I did try to start this video yesterday. Like I said, um, I went to Michael's and I went to Aldi because I know they have like the Aldi find section. Both were a fail. So I wasn't really expecting to find anything at Aldi, but I was surprised like I didn't see anything at Michael's. I will insert the clip here of what I was talking about yesterday because it is hair related. I know that a lot of people want to see hair content for me. So just let me insert the clip here um, where I was kind of talking a little bit more about that. Also, let me just mention, I just went to the gym and I decided to come to Michael's. So that's why my hair is crazy. Um, to be honest, if I'm not doing anything for the day, I find it really hard to like do my hair and today is not a hair washing day and it's just kind of past the point of dry shampoo. So it looks like this. So don't mind me. But something I did want to talk about is a comment that I received. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna like put it up on the screen, but someone commented on one of my hair videos saying, why are all the before pictures from 2019 why are they all on dirty hair and why are all the new pictures the after pictures of like my progress that are from 2021 why are those all on clean hair and to that I say honestly the before pictures I'm lucky that I even have those the only reason that they even exist is because I was just struggling and I wanted to know when I was seeing progress that I could like validate myself if I thought that I was having some new growth I could like go back and look at pictures and see honestly like if I was right or not because you know sometimes you try to convince yourself that like it's going well because you just like need it to but that's the only reason I have those pictures I would literally take them in my bathroom so upset having like a mental breakdown and just being like please let me see some results like next week and that's the only reason that I have those pictures. They are hidden in a file that I like don't ever look at. Um, and it was only for those purposes. So the fact that those pictures even exist is crazy. My YouTube channel, me sharing any of this was not even a thought. I didn't even know about this recipe yet when I took those photos. And honestly, when my hair was dirty, when I was losing all that hair, my hair was so thin. When it was dirty, it looked like... I was bald basically like I, you could see all my bald spots obviously and when my hair was clean you could still see my bald spots so a lot of those pictures actually are freshly washed and dried hair just because I wanted to document it there's maybe like one picture on second day hair and you can see the difference of like how bad it looks when it's dirty I also had really short hair at the time and then the new pictures from 2021 were actually taken on second day hair and as you can see now, like I still, you can see like my scalp in certain spots when my hair is greasy and up like this. But I just wanted to say they are genuinely the second ones I just took on second day hair. I made that TikTok on a whim. It's just whatever my hair was like that day. So there's really no like huge thought behind that. Honestly, the pictures were just taken before I even knew the recipe. So that's that. I just um, wanted to kind of like mention that because genuinely the only reason I share is to like hopefully show someone that this can work and you know I use a lot of natural products in my life and I feel like they all help me in different ways and it's just something that I like to share because it helps people and people you know they don't always have all this information I know that I didn't know a lot of the things that I know now about more natural products and why people use them I never understood it but I totally get it now and it makes so much sense and 
there's just a stigma around it and I want people to know that this works and it might not work for everybody of course I'm not a doctor I'm not a hair expert I'm not a dermatologist but I am just sharing my experience but if it's not for you it's not for you and that's fine so I just want to put that out there but we're gonna do something fun so I hope you don't mind my long ramble and yeah so let's go in I'll see what they have what an epic fail I didn't even film in there I know you guys probably want to see the fall stuff but I'm sure there's tons of videos out there I did not film because they hardly had anything but let me just show you the one thing I did find this was on clearance all the summer stuff is on clearance so if you need anything like that definitely like head to Michaels but this is really cool so like I said I was talking about all my natural products and stuff like that and I don't use candles anymore that's just like a personal preference but this is actually a pre-wicked little container it's like the perfect thing for me because I love the packaging of candles I love how they look I wanted to try and make my own so if I end up doing that it will be on my oils Instagram which I'll just have it on the screen here it's anushka.essentials but this is really cool I like the color and I like the lid and I figured like you could personalize this if you wanted to so I'm not gonna talk about that for so long because this is not what the video is about but I'm by Aldi so I think I'm gonna run in there see if I find anything and then tomorrow I'm gonna go to Home Depot and the consignment store in and out of love Never get enough We never seem to get older When things are going right We seem to have the Basically, time We're gonna go into Home Depot I don't know if I'm gonna film in there I already feel like a little bit awkward Going into Home Depot I don't know why um, But I don't want to like add to it by like filming I feel really f weird about filming inside stores So maybe I'll film a little bit on my phone I also am sending something to my friend So I need to go to the dollar store and pick up a picture frame So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today I hope that you enjoy my other videos that aren't just about my hair I do have like a hair video coming very soon I'm just testing out a product And I want to see how it works before I recommend it um, but either way, that video will be coming out and I will review this product for you. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications on and everything so you don't miss that. But for now, we're going to do some DIY. So if you're interested, keep watching. I really enjoy talking to you guys and kind of getting to know you. That's been really fun. So thank you to everybody who's subscribed. And let's get into the video. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. You guys, what a freaking fail. Oh, uh, this is like not working out at all. I don't think we're gonna find anything for. I don't know, I didn't see like any tiles, like bathroom tiles. I only saw like wooden looking porcelain tiles which is not what I was looking for and like they didn't have any samples and there was no one around for me to ask and I just felt awkward and I left. We're gonna go to Target potentially and we're also gonna go to the thrift store, dollar store. <sighs> Maybe this weekend I'll have Maca with me and then it won't be so awkward and I won't feel so weird like and he'll like ask if they have any tiles or anything. I'm gonna like, keep looking. This video might be an epic fail. So that's great, but there's a freaking bug on my window. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Epic fail at Home Depot, but maybe we'll try again. And they did have a plant sale, so you will have seen my little like footage of the succulents in the front, and that's about it. So cool. Oh my god, I'm so hot right now, but okay. Just went to the Dollar Tree. I also went to Target and I got my favorite already ate half the bag so <laughs> that's that it's what always happens but I wanted to maybe do just like a little quick Dollar Tree haul you know I was like pretty disappointed before in the clip you just probably saw look what I found they have texture they're like those adhesive tiles like fake tiles basically and that's really all I need I don't need like legit tiles one thing I would like to find is like something to go on the bottom like a piece of marble like not real marble but you know 
you know what I mean? Um, even like laminate, whatever. I just want like a, a sample piece, like one square of it. That's it. That's all I want. But yeah, how cool. I found these at the dollar, the dollar store and it is 12 inches for $1. I got two. I'm thinking maybe I'll try and put them on like a poster board or something just to have it as like a background or a piece of cardboard or whatever. Um, I also get these bubble mailers from here. I use them for like my oils team or I'm sending something to one of my best friends. So I needed some more of those. I got a paintbrush in case I wanted to do any painting on like the tiles and stuff. Try not to like rustle the bag too much. And then I found these cute little frames. They're like a clip-on thing, so you like put the picture in there. Um, they have this bow, which I think is kind of ugly, so I'm gonna probably take that off. Um, but I like that they were just white, simple. So I got two of those. And then the only other thing that I got from Target was this creamer. So my mom and I really like the Silk um, Oat, yeah, Oat Milk Creamer, the vanilla. Um, and I really wanted pumpkin spice creamer, but all they have is the almond milk one, and I don't really like almond milk, but because I think it's a little like salty. Um, but yeah, I thought, just try that out in my tea. Um, I'm gonna go home and have some tea. I'm clearly very hormonal, if you can't tell. <laughs> but the craziest thing just happened, this guy at the dollar store, he like, we both got into line at the same time. And so he was like, oh no, no, you could go ahead. Like he thought he cut me basically. And I was like, no, just, it's fine. You only have one thing, like go ahead. And plus he didn't really cut me anyway. So I was like, it's fine. Uh, don't worry about it and then like I don't really get upset about things like that unless I'm in a rush plus he didn't cut me so that wasn't even like a thing and he paid for my stuff he was like he was like put your stuff down like I got you and I was like I was like oh I thought he meant like just put your stuff down on the belt like while he was checking out like because I had a few things in my hand and he was like no, no no I got you and like I was like no 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 no, you don't have to do that but it's so nice like I mean, obviously, I only had, like, five things. If it was any other store, I wouldn't have let him, but it was a dollar store, so I was like, no, it's okay. Um, but it was just so nice, so I will definitely have to pay it forward and do something nice for someone else. But anyway, I don't think that this video is going to turn out how I wanted it to, where I, like, make a full, like, background and kind of, like, show you an example of a picture. But I will have, like, inspo photos in here and kind of show you what I'm going for and then maybe, like, in another video, I'll kind of try putting everything together. I didn't go to the thrift store yet because I'm just like being really slow and um, you know, so I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna go home now and have some tea, try the creamer. I guess I could let you know how it goes and then maybe I'll like, I don't know what else is gonna be in here, but that's pretty much we're just gonna call this a fail. So I did not want this video to be like a total fail. And I thought like, why don't I just show you guys what I do since I don't have like perfect video or uh, not video, perfect picture backgrounds, um, like for Instagram and stuff like that. If I'm trying to do like a product, um, I figured let me just show you what I actually do. I really want to still work on like building like little nice backgrounds for product shots that I need to take. What I do is I just take stuff I already have and kind of like put things together and see what looks good and kind of like see what look good kind of like blurry in the background and things like that i'm sorry i keep saying like i don't know why i said like so much in this video it's really weird i feel like i don't say like and um that much in person but once i turn the camera on that's all i can say so it's really weird but yeah let's just see what we can do i brought like i brought two products that i would potentially be promoting or just taking photos of and I'm gonna see if I can make it look good. I have a couple of things laid out. I have two different fabrics of scarves. So this is good for like winter, fall photos. I have a cable knit and then some plaid and then I've had these dried flowers for probably 10 years now. Um, one of my dance teachers brought me these in a bouquet to a recital of mine and I saved them. And I thought, why don't I use them for some photos? And then I also have a piece of quartz that I can use for the jewelry shot. So I'm just gonna use this container as the subject and then see what we can do. This is an old bottle of Beard Brand stuff that my boyfriend uses, but I like the container. And then I also have this necklace right here. 
that we're also going to take a photo of. Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we cut back Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires Okay, so I'm going to edit those photos and then show you what they look like on the screen now. This just goes to show you that as disappointed as I was at the beginning of this video where I like couldn't find anything at the stores, I'm definitely going to continue to look for things, but this is a really good way to get aesthetically pleasing photos and just figure out how to make that happen with what you have. So basically any fabric that you have, any piece of clothing that you like the fabric or texture of, you can use that. Any flowers that you have, you can go to Trader Joe's and get some really cheap flowers if you don't have any in the house. Um, dried plants are really good because you can hold on to them for a long time. I do have like a sample of course so you literally just go to the tile store and you know ask for a sample of something that you like and they'll give it to you most of the time if they have it um candles anything that you have really fairy lights would be really nice i just couldn't find mine right now but i would have thought that would be cute with like the flannel um but yeah that is it for this video if you have any suggestions for how to make really nice instagram backgrounds then or just photo backgrounds in general please let me know. You can share a picture with me on my Instagram if you have like ideas. And yeah, you'll see me in my next video. I'll see you soon. And make sure that you subscribe, turn your, no turn your notifications on, follow me on Instagram, and just stay up to date with everything that way. But I will see you very soon. Bye guys.